Good morning everyone. Today's video is a much requested video. I'm going to do a full tour of my year round capsule wardrobe. I have done a video like this before. It was one of the first videos that I ever did and I will leave a link to that in case you want to go back and watch it to compare the two. I also talk a lot about my approach to a capsule wardrobe in that video and about my previous struggles with shopping, addiction and emotional spending and how having a capsule wardrobe has transformed all of that for me. Um, so I'm going to give you a full tour of all my clothes, everything that I own. I'm not going to go through the loungewear or hobbywear capsule wardrobe, which if you've followed me for a while, you'll know that I keep those separate, but I'm gonna show you my day-to-day, year-round capsule wardrobe, which I don't do seasonal wardrobes. I like to keep everything out all the time and take a, a year-round approach, making tweaks to it just throughout the year. So I'm going to take you through each piece one by one. So here is said capsule wardrobe. I used to keep all the clothes that I hung on a rail exposed in, um, in my bedroom, but the cottage that I'm renting right now has this little, well it was like a boiler room, but I've turned it into a a wardrobe um, which is all fitted so that is why I'm using this personally I probably do prefer a, um, a rail but I'm just I'm just working with what I've got so the way that I like to organize things wardrobe wise is I follow Marie Kondo's advice where I hang anything that lends itself to being hung and to give you an example of that a dress like this would just i don't know it would look and feel so sad all folded up in a drawer you can see how it just looks so much more beautiful and so much more at home on a hanger so i try to look after my clothes as best i can and give them what they what they need to um to shine their best so anything that lends itself to being hung that it makes sense to hang up i will do that and then for things like jeans and jerseys that is all kept in a drawer which i will show you in a minute so i'm going to show you tops and jackets here because just trying to show you this dress made me realize that i don't think i've quite got enough room so i'll show you dresses in um in another part but starting with tops i have this very beautiful white long sleeve blouse from Cezanne complete with complete with frills which I absolutely adore wearing this then I have two identical silk camis from the same brand they're both by equipment and this is just a like pinky neutral one and this is a black silk one Skirts wise, I just have the one skirt. It is a midi length. It's like a cheetah print on it. It's a um, really soft, silky satin material. And this is from Olive, which is one of my favorite brands. Because it's winter at the minute, my two big winter coats are downstairs, but I will show you those as well. So we have a denim jacket, a very light bleach wash denim jacket. We have a black tailored blazer, which is by Stella McCartney, which I've had for years. I bought this during the first round of doing a capsule wardrobe when I was trying to tick off all those must have for a capsule wardrobe items. It cost a lot of money. I don't wear it as often as I should, given how much it costs, but I do absolutely love it. I do wear it from time to time. It is, yeah, it's a much, it's a much treasured piece that I plan on having for a very, very long time. 
I have a waterproof like uh, spring, summer, autumn raincoat, which is from a brand called Rock Holly. And yeah, I wear that all the time when the weather is warmer and I really, really love wearing this. It goes with so, so much. This is another surviving item from my first round of building a capsule wardrobe when I thought I had to have the most expensive of everything because I'd gone from having, I mean, a lot of clothes and I mean a lot. I'm talking wardrobes, plural, full, suitcases, full, drawers, full, just, I, I wouldn't have even been able to count like how many items I had so to go from that to only having fewer items, I went on this train of thinking, oh, I can spend loads and loads of money on things and I have to have the best of everything now that I'm having fewer. Um, and I talk about this quite a lot in my book, Enough, and I talk about it in my How to Build a Year-Round Capsule Wardrobe Guide as well. But I let go of all of that. But this piece is surviving from that particular time and I don't regret buying it. I still absolutely love it, but it was it was very, very expensive. It's a Stella McCartney wool coat in grey. It's like just above the knee, maybe just probably like knee, knee length. Um, yeah, and it's perfect for that. Like, you can't wear this in deep winter, but it, and it's a much smarter coat. So you wouldn't want to go out like walking and rambling in this. It's a, it is a smart one, um, but it's perfect for smart winter occasions and spring slash autumn. My shoes live in the bottom of the wardrobe, just there. Uh, the floorboards aren't finished, by the way. They are due to be painted, but for now this is, um, this is what we've got. But I actually quite love this like stripped back effect. I'm really enjoying this at the minute. So I thought I'd just give you a quick run through of the shoes, seeing as they live in the bottom. Um, there's also this pair that I'm wearing today. These are from Will's Vegan Shoes and they're just a very simple flat nude ballet pump style. Then I have a pair of black vegan leather Chelsea boots, a pair of white trainers. Normally I have two pairs of white trainers, I have these for the winter because they're a little bit hardier and I like to have a white canvas pump for the summer but we're not at summer yet so I will, I'll get a pair of those for this summer because my last pair died last summer. Then I've got two pairs of sandals, a really casual Birkenstock, these are the vegan leather Birkenstocks and a dressier sandal from a brand called Refresh. Pair of black brogues by Will's Vegan Store, one of my favourite shoe brands, followed by my second favourite shoe brand, Matt and Nat. I've got a pair of like dressy heeled sandals, which I wore to, I wore to a wedding this weekend actually. They were so, so comfy. And a pair of black pointed block heels as well. And that's it, including what I've got on. They are all my shoes. So this is my main dresser. This is where I like to get dressed, where I keep underwear, hobby clothes, um, loungewear clothes, all that kind of stuff. But the only drawer that is dedicated to my year-round capsule wardrobe is this one. So I will go through all these pieces with you. This is where these jeans and this sweater would um, would normally be as well. Uh, I'm just going to show you it like how it's all folded actually before I go through each piece. Everything's folded Marie Kondo-ish. I don't get too obsessed with how things are, are stored and folded but I like to fold things in that style and I like to try and store similar fabrics next to one another because I think this this really compliments. So this drawer is where my knitwear lives, my jersey tops live, and there's another knitwear there, and also um, denim as well. So the jeans that I've got on, and then these 
two pairs but I thought I'd show it you like this before I mess it up and get each piece out individually. I may as well just start with what I've got on. This is a jumper slash cardigan which can be worn back to front as well, either way. It's by Cezanne. Um, it's like plain at the back but you can wear the buttons at the back if you want to. And the jeans that I've got on are a 90s vintage style. These are by a brand called Done Redone. And I've shown you the shoes, so you've seen those. Knitwear. I have this jumper in exactly the same style, just a different colour, very similar to the silk camis that I've got. If I really love something, I like to have it in a couple of different colours. So this is the grey version of this sweater. I also have a like a cable knit style cashmere sweater. This is by a brand called Lily Silk. Recently upgraded, upgraded, just like yeah, updated and had a tweak of my knitwear. But this one I've had for quite quite a while now. This is such a lovely chunky knit and I love the colour of it. It's like an it's like an OT creamy beige colour. And this is actually a vegan sweater. It's not made from it's not made from wool. And it's by a brand called Cossack, which is a really great sustainable brand. It's a brand that I've worked with. I really, really loved working with them. This is one of my favourite sweaters. I love how like short it is because I'm only five foot two. And so anything that accentuates my legs is uh, is good for me. <laughs> Jersey tops wise, I've got this long sleeve roll neck stripey tee. It's quite thick. It's definitely more of a, a winter jersey and that is by a brand oh I've talked about olive same brand as um same brand as the skirt I have this same jersey in the like a creamy oaty beigey colour again same thickness really really lovely for winter and then for the summer months because I do find I I can what we call in the UK a very nesh person so I get really cold really easily and I cannot stand being cold I like to be warm all the time so I can find myself wearing long sleeves even in summer especially in the UK where the weather ain't great so for the summer and spring also in the winter I wear this literally year round it's one of my favorite tops it's one of my go 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 to's it's a dark navy and white stripe Long sleeve tee, and this is by Cos. Much loved top. I have a, this is a very, very summery, girly style top. This is a short sleeve, like a white cotton blouse. It's from Fat Face, and it's got like a metallic gold going through it. It's really, really, really pretty, delicate and feminine. White tea wise, I just have the one. It's folded inside out. <laughs> this is from And Other Stories. Very simple, very basic white tea. Nice and loose, which is how I like them. And then the final top, whoops. The final top is a black long sleeve roll neck again again once I find a style that I like I tend to repeat it and have a few of them and this is oh this is this has been going for years now this is by a brand called Splendid and yeah much much loved oh I did forget one sweater this is the um this is the last of the sweaters this is a long sleeve cashmere cardigan in a dark charcoal grey this is by a brand called Toast Finally getting on to denim, obviously the jeans that I've got on, I've just shown you, these are a slightly shorter, slightly baggier style of jean, and I think they're called Mom 
mom jeans and they're from Topshop. The last pair, these are my favourite pair of jeans. I must have had them for about six years now. These, And if you are petite by the way and you're looking for a skinny jean, these are the best I've ever found and I've tried a lot of them. These are black Alana Crops skinny jeans by Jerry J. Brown. And finally, I feel like this is quite a nice little spot to put you where you're going to be able to see the dresses full length. Oops. Dress number one is a white button down cotton style strappy sleeves. This is from Urban Outfitters. I've had it for years. Absolutely love it. This is actually the dress that I'm wearing in the video that I'm going to leave a link to the first year round capsule wardrobe video that I did. This is from Olive, it's a long sleeve, very silky satiny material midi dress which whoops absolutely adore, especially love this little this little frill collar around the top of it. I don't feel like my wardrobe would be complete without this pinafore. Oh I absolutely adore it. It's by a brand called Nadinu. It's linen. I feel like it's the most perfect colour of natural linen. It ties at the back. I love to wear a t-shirt underneath it, long sleeves, all sorts of different stuff. See, So, so beautiful. I always feel like I'm about to sit down at a pottery wheel or something when, um, when I wear this. It makes me feel really creative. This is one of my favourite summer dresses. This is by Splendid, the same as the black long sleeve roll neck. It's a silk slip dress. Super, super 90s, just so timeless, so classic. I love wearing this in the summer, I love wearing it on holiday. Absolutely adore it. This is another dress that I have in, or well, another item that I have in two different colours. This is the Free People Love of My Life dress and I find these so flattering and so easy to wear in the summer. I have it in, it's not really white, it's like an off-white cream and then this beautiful pinky colour as well. And my last dress is this long sleeve, very dressy dress. I wore this for the wedding that I wore the pink sandals to at the weekend. Yeah, it's got like stars in the shapes of, of moons on it. It's such a beautiful dress. And this is from Ghost London. You can easily be dressed down though. Like I'd wear a dress like this with heels as well as I would with the, the white trainers that I've shown you as well. I've got a jumpsuit, again in a beautiful soft linen colour, this is like a blush pink style linen and this is from a brand called Stauff. Wear this in the winter, wear this in the summer, I just change what I've got on my feet and short sleeve, long sleeve underneath. And very lastly I have my pair of dungarees which aren't put together properly. These are from Oliver Bonus and they're covered in fluff. They really need to be gone over <laughs> with a roller. But yeah, a really, really classic, classic piece. They've got a lovely, lovely little frill on to make them nice and girly. And just like everything in this wardrobe, I absolutely adore them. The very last two items are my thick, warm, cosy winter coats. This very long grey wool coat is from Cos. I think I'm going to swap this out next season, but I wore it last weekend and kind of liked it again, so I'm really in a bit of a confused state with this one. But yeah, that's a long, I think it's like a boiled wool coat from Cos. And this is what I refer to as my sleeping blanket. <laughs> this is the warmest winter coat I think I've ever, ever found. It's a long, like goes over, over the knee, Parker style with a really lovely furry hood. And it is from a brand called Elvine. 
which I'm pretty sure is Swedish. And I find that these two are more than enough to get me through the winter. This is much more of a casual coat and the wool one is a bit smarter. Handbags, I just have the two handbags. I have this, again, a dressy one and a more casual one. I'm thinking about getting a third, but I'm not sure. Big, big decisions when you don't have much stuff. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a cross body bag by Stella McCartney. Obviously my favorite brand when I'm looking for something a little bit more, a little bit more looks, a little bit more designer. But everything that I have bought of hers has lasted me years and I've never fallen out of love with it. So there's this one. And then the more casual one is this Matt and Nat vegan leather backpack, which I absolutely adore and wear all the time hats and gloves wise i just have this hat at the minute though i do wear a hat from my um my hobby wardrobe quite a bit and it's just a little like creamy beret from and other stories and i have one pair of really thick wool mittens which i've left in the car because i obviously haven't um, prepped this very well but that's it. That is absolutely everything of my year-round capsule wardrobe. Hopefully you've enjoyed having a little nosy round it. I love seeing what other people have got in their year-round capsule wardrobes. If you are wanting to figure out what your version of this wardrobe is, I have a step-by-step ebook which is called A Simplified Wardrobe and it's designed to hold your hand through the entire simplification process and help you find whatever your version of a simpler year-round, more sustainable capsule wardrobe is. Mine will look completely different to yours as it should because I think we're all individuals and our wardrobes should all look very very different. I'm not sure how many items I actually have at the minute. I used to be really obsessive with how many items I'd got and I used to, you know, play the game of trying to get it as few as possible. I've really taken my foot off off the gas with that kind of stuff now. I'm not bothered. All I care about is that I absolutely love each piece that I'm wearing it all the time and that most importantly makes me feel good and it fits in with my lifestyle and this is just the way my capsule wardrobe is looking at the minute. I don't believe that these things are ever done because how can they be when they're designed to fit us and as humans like what makes us human is that we're always growing, we're always changing so our wardrobes naturally evolve alongside us but there's most definitely a way to to slow down that process which is what I like to try and do and make it more conscious and more intentional as well but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed having a little nosy round i've really enjoyed i've enjoyed showing it off to you because i am really really proud of it and it just makes my life so much easier and makes getting dressed every day so much easier and much more of a joy but thank you so much for watching as i said a million times i hope that you've enjoyed it give the video a like if you have enjoyed it and yeah, that really, really helps to, um, to support the channel. But thank you. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you soon.